Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. This is episode 72. We are the Cookery Shuffle guys. I'm Joe. I'm Dave. And we are joined this week by my friend Kylie. Welcome, Kylie, to the podcast. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Hello, Kylie. everyone. <laughs> um, Kylie, before we get started with the interview, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do, what do the people need to know about you? Okay. Well, I'm Kylie, but most people know me as Smiley Kylie. Um, I am... A redhead that does not get freckles in the summer. Um, I was born in Mexico, but I'm not a Mexican citizen, nor do I speak Spanish. And I love pigs. And you love pigs. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get right into it. Dave, you got any questions (laughs) off that? (laughs) Um, Okay, yeah, let me think. Born in Mexico. (laughs) Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Um, It's just where my mom happened to be. I, my dad worked for the State Department, so we traveled around a lot when I was a kid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mexico. Mexico. So being born in Mexico does not make you a Mexican citizen? Technically, no, but I can easily obtain a citizenship. I just have to prove my birth certificate, which is all in Spanish, so I don't understand it. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So, so it, yeah, so like for you, it'd be a lot easier if I walked up there and I was like, Hey, I want to become a Mexican citizen. Like, <laughs> I can't. They'd be like, uh, me idea, right? That's yeah. Spanish. No, I, I, don't know. I don't know Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. now you've also, you've, you've traveled all over the world uh, mm-hmm. growing up. Like you've spent time in, uh, England, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so after Mexico, my family and I, we moved to Oslo, Norway, and then we moved to London. And we left London when I was nine. So I was turning 10 in the States, and I joined fifth grade instead of fourth. And then I've lived in Virginia ever since then, pretty much. Yeah, except for now, you're in Florida. Yeah, now I'm in Florida, (laughs) yeah. Um, And now I'm going to bring this up because I thought this was one of the funniest things I've ever heard when you told me this. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, that you, when you came to the states uh, at ten years old or nine years, uh, nine ten years old, mm-hmm. going into fifth grade, you were you were bullied because you had. An yeah. Accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fifth grade was not a good time, well, unfortunately. A yeah, I had a severe British accent. I was a <laughs> dork beyond belief, and in fifth grade, you're also learning about the Revolutionary War. So all these American kids are learning about how England is not such a nice country. And here I am with a British accent. And they were like, ew, go back to where you came from. And I was like, I wish. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I had a rock thrown at my head by this kid. um, And I covered for him. He did not get detention. Wow. I said a soccer ball hit me. My teachers didn't believe me. They knew that I was bullied, but I didn't throw him under the bus because he felt kind of bad for it. Yeah. And it's actually funny that since when I told him, like, hey, you're not going to get in trouble from the teachers, he felt so bad. He oh, has bad. never spoken to me since. And we went to middle school and high school together and literally just does not make eye contact with me, which I think is weird, but mm. he felt really bad. It's just ashamed. Of yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Well, you know what it is, is when, you know, when kids bully each other, it means that they like each other. So like, he probably just all that time still had a crush on you and just like, couldn't, couldn't bring himself to ever talk to you. That's what it is. Maybe. I don't blame him if he didn't though. Like I said, I was weird as a kid. (laughs) I was weird. (laughs) So as when you turned 10, was that the first time you were in the States or? Um, actually, no, I came over a couple of times because my dad is from New York so we would come and visit his side of the family until we don't we fell apart with them um and we would come to disney world i think once or twice we came here so i've been to the states before but honestly i don't remember any of it until i moved here wow yeah i remember when the most the places that i went to most was for my birthday i would go to paris which i think is kind of cool Oh, I was like, Paris. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for my birthday, we're going to Paris. Cause you know, the Euro star, it's like a short little trip over there. Yeah. Yeah. So what, <laughs> you went to school for like a little bit in England then? Yeah. For four years. What did, what is school like there? Yeah. What is school like there? 
Oh my gosh. So I went to a school called Hill House. You could look it up. It's where Prince William went to school. Um, so a lot of important people went there. Um, <laughs> and me. Yeah, exactly. I <laughs> don't know how I fit in there, but it was really um, amazing kind of environment because the thing that I lo always looked forward to every year was field day for us was totally different from a field day here in America. We would basically every year you would focus towards a specific skill that would include fencing even or working together as a team to build a chariot and you would have to like do a race with the chariot around and you would present it in front of the whole school and we would go to like a London park. It was called Hyde Park and we rented okay. it out. You do you? Yeah. So we were there and it was a huge, big spectacle. But every year you kind of worked towards that rather than like an SOL or an exam yeah. kind of thing, which I think is very, very different from an American school. It sounds a lot more fun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to build a chariot. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I left right before the year I was going to be on that team. I was very sad. Ah, damn. Yeah. What the hell? <clears throat> That's I'm, I'm cool. going to suggest that to uh, the Board of Education. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think we should introduce chariot building to the fifth grade. How, yeah. How does that sound? Some team exercises. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to build them how to teach them how to build a Trojan horse next. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, think, it was really cool. I think cool. there's more team activities in, in younger, younger grades. People get along better. You know. That's true. Mm -hmm. now uh you guys you guys like you're not you like you're not american but like <laughs> <laughs> when you were growing up there you got a day off school for the queen's birthday correct yes that's we just would get bank holiday. holiday as well too which is like a monday that is typically off for the nation too that's amazing like why mm -hmm. it, I, if it's biden's birthday i want the day off all right i'm just saying <laughs> for the next four years birthday <laughs> yeah, we, get, we, we, we get don't get the day off for his birthday, do we? For Washington's birthday? Well, his birthday, no, but they come, they put President's Day and we get off for that. Oh, okay. Is that his birthday? Uh, uh, President's Day is like right before, it just passed. It was like Washington and Abraham and, and Lincoln's birthday is, are like right next to each other. Yeah, so they just like put them in a, in a week. Or something yeah. Like See, that. American history was the first F I ever got. Actually, the first F F I ever got was a quiz in fifth grade when I came here on the first five presidents of the U.S. And I had no idea. You're like, why the fuck would I know that? No idea. God save the queen. <laughs> exactly. I think I, I think I know. I think I know three out of the five first presidents. Well, Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Jefferson, Adams again. Yeah, there's a John Quincy Adams and there's a John Adams. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So, and then, okay, so I know four maybe. Who's the fifth one? Who the was. <laughs> Nope. Pulp. No. Uh, Agreed. America Pulp. education system. Yikes. <laughs> John Polk. Who president was he? Oh, he was way later. Yeah, I think Who he was. Who was that? He's like the 15th president. I don't think his ah. name is John, honestly. It's not. It's not John. President. It's in order. Yeah, why, why do they start me with the 45th president? I don't care. I know Joe Biden's the president right now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Blasted everywhere. Oh, oh, no. James Quincy Adams was the sixth one. So what? John Adams was the second one. So George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, oh. and then James Monroe, and then <laughs> John Quincy Adams. Well, you know. I want to know who this Polk guy is. Oh, James... James K. Polk. He was like the mm. 10th or something. No, 10th. Or 11th or 12th. Well, there's our history lesson for the day. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell um, anything about these presidents. So, you've been to all these countries. Do mm -hmm. you prefer any of them <laughs> in your little memory that you have of them? Do you prefer them to any of them to here? All of them. All of them. Maybe. Well, maybe. Okay. I haven't been to Mexico in a while, but I don't think I would want to go back there mm. probably because from what my parents told me it was like the environment that we were in just 
wasn't the best for our kind of for us to live through. Um, but I mean, it's a great place to visit as a travel destination. But to live there, probably wouldn't go back there. Yeah, I want to go to Cancun. That's where everyone yeah. goes. I want to go there. Yeah. No, that's that's a tourist location. So yeah, yeah that's different. Yeah. <laughs> I want to stay in like a five star resort pool right side right outside my door or something like that. Ocean uh, view. I want to go to where uh, is it Bali that has the beach with the pigs. Oh, or yeah, where you can, like, they're just like roaming the roaming the beaches. Yeah, not Bali. Where, they, I don't know where, where is. is that? Why do they I want to go wherever that is. Dave, did you say yeah. how they get the pigs? There? No. Why do they have pigs oh. just roaming on the beach? Just wild pigs. Oh. You know how some beaches have horses? Like, how did the horses get there? I did not know that. There's beaches with horses. Yeah, up in like Delaware. Wait, like Delaware, Delaware? <laughs> like our Delaware? <laughs> Yeah. No, I did not know there's beaches with wild horses in Delaware. Yep. Why does Delaware get horses? Wow, no beaches. idea. I went on a trip once to Rehoboth with my two best friends and or three best friends, and um, there were horses everywhere, and I was so confused. But huh. it's a thing. Interesting. Right. Um, jumping to your obsession with pigs. Uh, okay. Pigs. When did it start, and why? Why pigs? Why? It's their nose. Oh, it's their nose. I mean, like, you, oh. it's just so cute. <laughs> I think that's what got to me at first. And then my neighbor here in the States actually has a pig um, in their backyard with two goats named Leonard and Skinnerd. <laughs> yeah. And I think she solidified my obsession because she was, when she was a baby, she was so cute. You could see her little pink lips, but she's a pot belly pig, so she is so fat now. Mm. And I think it's also the sound. <laughs> like a little <laughs> I don't know why. I don't I don't know what it I is about feel, it. I don't, I don't know how I feel about like, like little piglets, they're cute and all. Yeah. You see them at the fair, but like a full full grown pig, I don't know. Yeah, when oh. pigs get big, they're just they're just ugly and fat. It makes a difference when you see them, I think, as a piglet. I guess. Yeah. Like, I don't, I mean, giraffes are cool, but I think they're, like, overhyped. And I think oh, yeah. baby giraffes solidify that they're cute. But it's, like, and as adult giraffe, it's like, okay, you're cool. Elephants are just weird. The, the fact that they had the same amount of vertebrae. that You're I talking about elephants or giraffes? Or giraffes, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> giraffes. Yeah. I said elephants. Um, you know, elephants have more muscles in their trunk than we do in our whole body. I did. I knew that. I did not. Know that. <laughs> I, I learned that today. I've been saying that on my safari for months now. Really? Yeah. Do you both work at, or do you work at a safari as well? I do. Safari gang, what's up? <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> um, Karibusana. <laughs> so now, is it is it any pig? You're like, yeah. Just like you're a fan of like if you like were given a. a plethora of animals in front of you and one of them was was pig like like a hog like i the warthogs are my favorite animal on warthogs, the reserve. wild boars anything it's if it's a pig if it looks like a pig it's your it's your favorite well wild boars they're dangerous they're mean those are oh, yeah. mean little suckers and so i don't i don't know if i would get close to one of those but i would i would respect it mm. i no, respect I it more I have a story about pigs that I think I may have told on the podcast before. If I didn't, uh, then this is me telling it. Uh, I was driving to somewhere not long ago. It was probably a couple months ago. I was driving down the road, and I looked to my side, and there's three pigs on the side of the road, just like on the edge of the woods, just like roaming and eating. And I'm like, what the fuck? So like, it was just like two adult pigs and a piglet just walking around on the side of the road. And I'm like, what is going on? Right? I'm, I was very confused because, you know, we live in central Florida where there's almost no forested areas. <laughs> and there was just three of what I assumed to be wild pigs just came out of the woods, were grazing, and then they probably went back in after I drove away. And they were having... They were Weird. Having Haven't seen them since, but uh, yeah, they seemed very friendly. I called Shannon right afterwards. And I go, Shannon, I just saw three what I assumed to be wild pigs on the side of the road. <laughs> and she screamed at me to go back and get them. And I go, what do you want me to do? Grab a pig and throw it in the back of my car? 
Yeah. She's like, yeah, please. I, yeah. I'm like, I'm not doing that. She goes, well, just grab the little one. I'm not, I'm not taking the little one away from its mother. <laughs> yeah. She if goes, you take one, you got three. take all three. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Do pigs. Uh, so I look for them every feisty? time. Pigs can get real feisty. Like if you took They're them, like, smarter than a dog. Um, I think I knew that. I, I'm not sure. If I They're cleaner than a dog, too. Well, I, that I find hard to believe. Well, I also find hard to believe that... Have you ever smelled a pig and smelled a dog? <laughs> a dog's tongue is yeah, cleaner dogs than our stinky. tongue. No, pigs are stinky. I've never dogs smelled a pig. <laughs> what, Dave? I've never smelled a pig, so... I You've never smelled a pig? You've never gone to the fair and been like, oh, it smells like fucking ass in here. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because they got, they got cows, they got shit, yeah, they got... Pigs, they got chickens, they got roosters. Yeah, pigs or, smell. Um, yeah, but how do you know? Any it's animal pig? that rolls around in mud smells. So the rhinos smell. Yeah, I'm sure rhinos smell. But you hmm. don't know for sure if pigs. I mean, I've never gotten close enough to a rhino to smell it. So a pig. Did you smell the pig? Yeah, I've been close enough <laughs> to a pig to smell a pig. You <laughs> literally go. <laughs> yep, it's taking that pig smell. <laughs> it's stanky. Stanky animals. Um, so, I had a good. I had a question that I was going to ask you, and I don't remember what it was now. Um, you think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Go ahead, dude. I'm gonna ask you a very common question that you know people. I feel like get asked a lot. If uh, if you had to take three items with you, um. If you were shipwrecked on a desert island, but food and water is all taken care of, three items. What are they? Um, should I be interesting, or should I be like a bow and a flare gun? You can yeah. bring whatever like survival you want. means. All right. Give the, the scenario we almost always give on the podcast when we ask that question is like, you're there for, you're stranded for like a, what was it like a couple of years, Dave, or like a year or something. Like you, you will get rescued eventually. Okay. But you got food and water. You're good. Yeah, like the island provides you have the the island has everything you you will need to survive as well. It's like it's got food, it's got water. So like you're not bringing food, water, or a boat because eventually you get rescued and it's got everything you need. Then what do you bring in? Okay, okay. Um, a pillow. Probably a pillow. Tempur Pedic um, or what do we got? <laughs> um, one with a maybe a silk pillowcase. I think that would be very good okay. for the skin, you know, and the environment there. Um, I guess. Oh, like a music player of a sort. Something like to play iPod. music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or a stereo. IPod shuffle, yeah. Or a boombox. <laughs> so everybody can hear. Boom so everyone, there. everyone on, on this deserted island. Yeah. Can yeah. <laughs> so I can have a big dance party. Mm. Um. And and then, I don't know. Third item. Uh, yeah, once you have a silk pillow and a <laughs> box, what else is what there? Else do you need? <laughs> and, I mean, maybe like a pig. A pig. <laughs> Keep company. I need company. You know, oh, I was gonna say. I go, I was gonna say. Eventually, you're gonna have to eat that pig. But then I remember the island There's provided food for you. So I'm here's my question. Like a pula, you know. Here's a follow-up question. Okay. You don't have food, and there's a pig. Will you eat the pig? There's a wild pig running around. Will you eat now you pig? are you're a vegetarian, correct? I am. So no, no animals mm -hmm. are getting eaten on your watch, but would you I'd eat the if fish. you had to survive? Okay. I'll fish. So no the, you'll you'll save you'll you'll befriend the pigs. Mm -hmm. Kill the fish. Yep. No. Okay. Okay. I will ev I, if I don't even have a fishing rod, I'll make a spear, you know, one of those fishing spears. Yeah. I could do that. You think I'll you eat could plants. be successful at that? I mean, after a year on an island by myself, I think I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll eventually. I might be starving for a couple of weeks, but. Yeah. Patience, <laughs> patience and, a, and a quick hand. Yeah. It's all in the wrist, yeah, right? Yeah, Dave knows. Patience and a quick hand will just, every time. Yeah. <laughs> He's a master spearman. <laughs> I mean, that's really got to be hard, though. Oh, I can't even imagine how people do it. Like, I don't know how often it gets done. I am sure, I'm sure there are like, you know, islands with like indigenous people on there that that's how they get their, their food is mm -hmm. you know, they spearfish. But like, you got to stand the in the water just like 10 minutes and let the water become still around mm -hmm. you before you can even do anything. Acclimate to your presence. 
Yeah. And then you fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, these fish gotta be pretty big too, cause like, I mean, yeah, cause like, otherwise you're going back in. Can't fish in a creek, cause like, you're getting yeah. fish this big. It's like yeah, a like a little dace. <laughs> I know my fish from Animal Crossing. I was just gonna say, do you learn that from Animal Crossing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I do not remember the follow up question that I had previous. So, Dave, if you've got another one, go ahead and take it away. Uh, let's see. Well, there's 30 questions on here. I'm trying to find some good ones. Um, mm -hmm. this one's kind of this one's kind of creepy. Uh, I'm not going to ask it, but it, it says, what would your eulogy say? That's kind of like That's morbid. Yeah. Morbid. Um, all right. If I gave you $50,000 to start your own business, what business would you start? I already know the answer to this. Easy. I would want to open a theme park where you can immerse yourself into – like a job that you've always been interested in. Like, you know, as kids, we always say a princess or an astronaut, but you never actually get to experience it. Mm -hmm. I feel like a theme park that's truly immersive where for a day you can be an astronaut. Like you literally, there's a space station there and maybe there's a real astronaut who can like do a cool skill with you. I think I need more than 50K, but you know, yeah, we'll just, just do bit. one. Yeah. We'll do one job first. That's pretty cool. I would I'd I'd probably visit there. If I was Though I... I think working at Disney, you I think you're legally legally obligated not to say you will open a theme park. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I've already even thought of the slogan too. You know how Disney is where dreams come true. I know that now. Right? I think I knew that. Yeah, that's the like when you drive under the bridge. It's like where dreams come true, and my theme park will be where dreams are made. Oh wow! This is business. Yeah, this yeah. Is business already getting there. <laughs> yeah you might need a little bit more than 50k but you're on yeah the way, so. i'm on the way <laughs> that's, that's pretty, pretty cool much like a it's an inter internship for like little kids you know? yeah so yeah you just try a bunch more shit and you know that way if you go to nasa and they ask you for what experience you have well, what you've already gotten it park when i was five <laughs> You already have it. Like that's entry level jobs bypass over it. Yeah, that is a good idea. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. I will back that when it comes to fruition. Yes, if that's the right word that I use. Then. When that opens, yeah, yeah, that's the right word. Yes. When this blows up and you guys become rich, too, you can become like investors. Ah, oh yeah. There you go. I'll take a piece of that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Good to know. Sign me up. <laughs> uh, that's um, more good question. Joe, if you, of... While you look, Dave, I'm going to come up with another one. Um, one that gets commonly asked again on the podcast. <clears throat> I know where this is going. Yeah, it's, go, it's going where you think it's going, Dave. <laughs> okay. You are in a battle of strength. <laughs> just, just ask the question. Don't, don't, don't add anything to it. Okay. Let's say you were given the choice of a deer. Oh, this one. Or I a goose. Another one. Oh, okay. No, not well. I don't know which one you're thinking of, Dave. You can ask that too. A deer or a goose? Both of these animals want to attack you. Which one would you rather fight back or fight against? I guess a deer. What's up? <laughs> I give up. See, was that a good answer for me? Yes. <laughs> why do you not like ge ge geese? Also, why did English do that? <laughs> goose. Geese? <laughs> why is it goose and geese, but not moose and meese? Because not everything needs to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like <laughs> yeah, I know that's how our brains are wired to be like, oh, it rhymes. It must be correct. But no, it's just moose, moose, goose, geese. Because technically English isn't even my first language. So I had to figure that out. <laughs> See, but no, and just don't get it. What's a multiple moose? Just moose? Moose. Yeah, yeah, Dave. Yeah. It's just moose. Just mo How do you you know this? I, I don't Sheep, I don't, sheep. I, sheep, sheep, deer, deer. Deers. Moose, moose. Deers, no, it's not deers. Mooses. Oh, my God. It's deer. Mouse and then mice? What the heck? Well, would you say mouses? No, that sounds wrong. <laughs> But well, why if you're just not? Coming, if you're just but now, the, the, regardless of why English oh, yeah, yeah. is weird, why <laughs> would you rather fight a deer? a deer? I feel like it's 
I could emotionally attach to it better, maybe. I can become a like a big Bambi, or I'll no, jump it on it and I'll ride you. it away. Everybody comes at it from a different angle, so that. And well, listen, Dave said week, the same fucking bullshit. He goes, "I'll fucking grab it by the antlers, swing myself around, and ride that off into the sunset." Yeah, <laughs> it's I feel happening. I that deer so... is gonna maul you. you. Don't know. Man. It's gonna run you through with its no. antlers. You are a dead human being afterwards. I mean, I feel like a, a deer also just has a hard time moving around in a small space very quickly because they're bigger a goose just flaps their feathers and just like opens that's, their mouth that's and goes, all they do is they just flap their feathers and open their mouth and you can yeah, but they have can, you been bitten by a goose before they could no the but it, it sure <laughs> hurts but have you been attacked by a deer imagine the pain okay see so I, you could, I still hope i got my answer you could just kick a goose not if it's airborne it Dave, if it's airborne and coming at me, it's only it's only six feet tall, six imagine, feet in the air. I can still grab it. But I f imagine how quickly it is for that goose to get its friends there. No, no, no. There's no there's no other geese involved. It's just <laughs> one goose and one deer. I'm still deer. We got two deer. That's last week. Last week, my friend Robin said goose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said deer first. By the way, she did say deer until she realized that the deer wanted to attack you. Just saying, because she her, she took it as. The deer would run away, whereas the goose would always attack, which is very realistic. But in this scenario that we've created, the deer wants to attack you. Well, the original question was deer or goose. Nothing was added. And me and Tyler said deer. You said goose. Oh, no. Me and Ben said you deer. You and Ben said deer. Nick and I said goose. And I'm pretty sure Tyler said deer, too. And now we got <laughs> another deer. So that's 4v3. Oh, Listen. dear. <laughs> you could you could kick a goose, you can't kick a deer. I mean, right. you could kick a deer, but it's gonna still murder you. So yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, the the question that I thought you were gonna ask was, who would win in a fight? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna yeah. A grizzly bear, or a silverback gorilla. Ooh. Silverback gorilla? <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> I think the everybody bear has a good case. Has paws the size of your fucking. Face. But that gorilla, it, I just they What's push you down, I, and they really poop. Got. They they throw poop. <laughs> okay. But I feel like also a a bear won't attack you if like the gorilla presents itself to be larger and gorillas do that very well you know like they go all macho and i feel like the bear would then be like mm, and then the no, gorilla no, would be like, against the bear you play dead i think yeah, if you, yeah, if you try supposed. and be territorial towards the bear it's gonna get even angrier it depends on the type of bear but i don't remember like the brown and the black and the yeah. grizzly there's supposed to be a difference between if you like present yourself big or you make yourself small which is yeah. bad because you should know the difference because now if i'm encountering that situation yeah. i don't know the crazy answer bear encounters that you've been running into lately yeah really mm -hmm. um, actually my dad had a bear run a, it right through our backyard like oh a year ago just a big brown bear I feel like a black bear would be. Those are like seem the smallest ones. So I feel like if you just make yourself big against them, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, they'll be like, "All right, peace, peace out. I'm, I'm not doing this today." Regardless, <laughs> grizzly bear wins this fight. Ten out of ten times, the gorilla will never win against a bear. And now, you know, the movie Kong versus Godzilla just came out, I believe, and I have not seen this movie, nor do I have any plans to go and see this movie anytime soon. I will watch it eventually, but I want to know. Godzilla or Kong? Who's winning that fight? Um, I've never seen I'm any Godzilla Kong movie. Just because he's a giant monkey. He's, I don't think he's a monkey. He's a giant gorilla. But now that I'm thinking about this fight, the gorilla versus bear, I'm rooting for the bear. And Godzilla's a mythical dinosaur that breathes fire. So how does Kong really beat that? <laughs> um, this, is not, this episode is not sponsored by Kong versus Godzilla, by the way. <laughs> I've never seen any Godzilla movie, so I really don't even know what this th being. It's a big freaking lizard that destroys Japan over and over again. I think. Well, I'm just gonna go Kong mm. because uh, I mean I like gorillas better than mythical creatures. So, that's I don't, it's. I just think when it comes to, I mean, listen, if you put Kong against a grizzly bear, King Kong's gonna win. But like a regular gorilla. Yeah, well, King Kong is like. So you didn't specify. 
Well, you just said a gorilla. gorilla. <laughs> well, not... a normal gorilla, not a mythical gorilla. <laughs> yeah, how big is King Kong, anyways? He's like, I don't know, the size of. They could Empire like... State Buildings, like half of it, yeah. right? Honestly, I don't know. So he's got to be like, you know, 50 feet tall. So, he's know. a big boy. <laughs> I don't think they ever said that, but. I mean, he looked pretty ginormous on the uh, on the Empire State Building. How big is King Kong? Like in comparison King to something. King Dong. It's probably... <laughs> Don't look up King Dong. <laughs> um, he is 104 feet. Holy hell! So I was wrong. How tall is wow. Godzilla? How tall is a regular gorilla? Uh, hold on. I know those are two very different things I just asked. But. I think a regular gorilla, aren't they like seven foot? Or their wings, their arm span is like... Arms, well, they got freaking seven to eight foot. arms. Yeah. Um, their, their reach on that bear is insane. But yeah. you know, they don't have claws like a bear does. They have this big life-size figure of a gorilla in the trails. And you can like stand in front of a cut-out gorilla. Compare yourself. Um, I think they're shorter than... Like the average, like if they stood straight up, I think they're only like five and a half or something like that. But they got that that crazy arm length. Mm. Uh, Godzilla, it was nine hundred and eighty four feet. Wait, what? You telling me that Godzilla is ten times the height of King Kong, and they made a movie about the two of them fighting? It's planning on. This is like me fighting a goose. You could drop kick it, and it's game (laughs) movies over in five minutes. In Planet of the Monsters, he was 984 feet, but now in this King of the Monsters, he was... Western Gorilla, by the way, 5.1 feet tall. The bear is winning. 393 feet. Easy. How are you making a a mythical creature... Dave. ...that tall, and then having him face a a gorilla that's only... 104. 104. Like, what? (laughs) You know, you can't. That's Hollywood. Not, that's not comparable. Hollywood, yeah. But you know, I'm. Isn't aren't Godzilla's arms like? Oh yeah, he's got dinosaur arms. Got I dinosaur. got a big head and little arms. <laughs> so he can only breathe fire and whack his tail around. <laughs> yeah, but he's also a fire-breathing dinosaur. Dinosaurs are extinct. Except for Godzilla, I don't think technically he's a dinosaur. I think he's. I'm Another not getting dragon. into the technicalities of this. The point is, a bear is going to win in a fight against a gorilla. I feel like a gorilla, though, could throw something at the bear and then that'd be done. What are they throwing? Though? Bears don't throw anything. What Gorillas a... throw everything. What is a gorilla going to throw? A rock. Okay. <laughs> you know... A boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> I, I think you overestimate the gorilla's <laughs> fighting intelligence. Because like, when you see gorillas fight, they just beat the crap out of each other. And they True. just, like, pound on each other, right? Yeah. That's it. They don't, don't throw shit at each other. I mean, they might throw shit at each other, but, like, they don't throw <laughs> shit at each other. So, like, everyone always is like, oh, the, the gorilla's got thumbs, which, like, who gives a fuck? And he's going to pick up a rock and throw it at the bear. The bear's going to get knocked out. I go, gorillas don't fight that way. <laughs> uh, by the way, in the movie, they're more comparable in size. 335 for Kong and 393 for Godzilla. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Godzilla still got that height, though. Yeah, he still got the height. Still got sixty feet on the damn thing. <laughs> um, gotten two phone calls during this thing. Oh, One from, a FaceTime from Katie and a call from Grandma. So Aww, unpopular today. Gwen. I didn't answer. <laughs> Good. So hopefully she's doing all right. <laughs> um, I think those are all my questions. Got yeah, I can't. I can't think of anything else that I have to ask either, honestly. Uh, oh, by the way, I looked up the Delaware horse beach, and there's like more than 300 wild ponies that wander the beaches. That's insane. Yeah. So they're just chilling in Delaware, and I think I'm going there my next vacation. <laughs> can you? It's ride a beautiful that? area. Can you just yeah hop on a wild horse and ride it? I don't, I don't know, know if you can just go. hop on to it, but yeah. I know you can oh. do it somehow. I saw people riding horses, like, on the sand by the water hmm. as the sun's setting. I do have some more questions, actually, now okay. that I think about it. Um, you obviously work with animals, just like I do. Yes. Um, so, would you consider yourself, 
I don't know how do I word this. Like you would you say that you know a lot about animals, even ones that may not be on our safari? I mean, I watch fair share of planet Earth. Yeah. Kind of vibe. I feel yeah. like I understand animal not understand like i don't speak to them but <laughs> <laughs> which i just saw that movie like a couple weeks ago the one with um, eddie murphy or the one with uh, robert downey jr robert downey jr robert downey jr i don't know what you said dave <laughs> tony stark in it yeah, okay. um i yeah i feel like i at you least know a fair amount yeah rather than just like a elefante you know yeah. just shouting out <laughs> But it's actually a rhino, you know, some yeah, people yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. the difference. Um, have you always been interested in animals? Like, is it is this something, like this job, just talking about animals, not specifically safaris, is this something that you've always wanted to do? I have always loved animals in a sense, yeah. I thought I was going to go down um, a biology train in school but then I went down economics instead so I've always had a niche for kind of working with either conservation or saving the planet in a way because mm-hmm. I definitely value um, all other life forms than just human like we are all on this planet and we you know are only on it for a short period of time and obviously these animals have been here forever and like I've talked about how they all come together because without some of them like bees like we aren't gonna live so i've always been interested in that kind of idea so working with the animals in that way is really cool but i don't necessarily need to be an animal trainer or like a zookeeper yeah yeah it was deep yeah isn't there it was (laughs) yeah wasn't it like if, if if bees go extinct then Soon after that, something and boom. Oh, like humans boom. are fucked and after boom, yeah. bees go extinct. Yeah. Yeah, we're absolutely done for. Because like, we something got no plants. The pollen. Yeah, yeah. no plants without bees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because not, mo- not that the majority of our food is plants, but like you know, animals eat plants, and if there there's no plants for the animals to eat, and the animals die, then we eat the animals. We got no animals, then we die. Exactly. Yeah. And no more earth. Yeah. No. Well, the Earth will still be here. We just won't. We just won't be on it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it'll probably prosper more. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did you hear like when quarantine happened? I don't know if it's even true, but people said like dolphins were in it, like Italy's waters, like the dolphins. canals. Wow. I don't know if that's real. I just saw it on Twitter, so it probably yeah. is not. <laughs> Aren't Italy canals like dirty as crap? Well, well they say that it got so to... clear, clean, yeah. because people went there during quarantine. Oh, yeah, I think I did hear something about that. I didn't hear the dolphin, but I saw, I heard the clear water. Water got cleaner? Yeah. Water got cleaner. Mm-hmm. Uh, ouch. Um, so, Kylie, what other, what other jobs have you done besides working at Disney? Um, so, my first job, I was a rock climbing coach at my indoor gym. I worked with the youth team. Um... That was really cool. It was, I didn't think I was ever going to get it, that kind of job. I started as a volunteer and then they wanted me to just stay. So I did. And that was my first job. And then I worked at a Panera for a summer, which during that same summer, I was a hostess for this small, fancy restaurant in our city. Um, And... Then I did a couple jobs at my university, like, you know, student programs or like student government, technically their jobs because I got paid. But Mm -hmm. yeah, I did. I worked a lot with um, my freshman orientation team at Radford. That's where I went. Where is that? Yeah. It's a sister school of Virginia Tech. So Southwest Virginia. Virginia. Interesting. Yeah, we were the all girls school while Virginia Tech was the all boys school until they both became co ed. Uh, I, I did not know that Virginia Tech. I didn't know a lot about Virginia Tech until right now. Um, oh. And I still don't know a lot, but <laughs> did not know that they were an all boys school. Yeah, yeah they were. I, guess, I mean, if you told me like sister Virginia Tech or whatever, I could probably guess that it's an all girls school. But just saying Virginia Tech, I'd be like, it doesn't sound like an all boys school. No. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why. Just a bunch of dudes being bros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although sheds. probably just a bunch of nerds at Virginia Tech, so yeah. yeah. I mean, Virginia Tech though loves their football. 
that's I would go up there all the time because one of one of my best friends that I went to Rehoboth with, Kendra, she went there and I would visit her all the time and they're obsessed with their team. Their their community is really nice because unfortunately they went through that school shooting a couple of years ago. So oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I knew that school sounded familiar in my head for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had a school shooting. It was like one of the first ones I feel like before they got very regular, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, Virginia Tech lost um, in my bracket, so I'm not really happy with them. So, you know, fuck them. Their, bas- <laughs> their t- basketball team's not that good then. Our basketball team beat theirs, which was wow. a big deal. Like a couple years ago, because we're we're technically a D one school like them, but we're very small. We're like a medium sized school. Okay. Yeah. Um. How did I, I totally forgot where I was going with this? Oh yeah, during quarantine. Um, oh okay. What What was your What did you do in four months off of work? You yeah, you sat at home, didn't lose your mind. Oh Excellent. gosh. What'd you say, dude? I said it looks like she didn't lose her mind, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did I did kind of clear my head a lot, though. Um, I definitely played a lot of Fortnite. I remember that. Hey. I played a lot of <laughs> Fortnite. They did, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, my God. I would take... I would take a walk to my closest Starbucks. That would take me two hours it's an hour there and an hour back just to get a coffee mm-hmm. you um driving, you just wanted to feel the fresh that's air I, i'm putting a pin in that because that's something i also want to talk to you about was your coffee obsession but we'll get back to that. <laughs> so continue yeah with the, continue with the <laughs> yeah so i uh definitely would walk around a lot and just kind of dill daddle um i had one roommate that we would just kind of do the stupidest things you know like you would do with a roommate random things a lot of puzzles joe you would know that yeah um but halfway through quarantine it the vibe got very different because i wasn't going to be roommates with um that girl anymore and then i became very much more self-aware and trying to just focus on myself so working out or doing mindfulness kind of vibe things Home. Home. So my vibe changed during quarantine. Like the you first became, half, you became a hippie during quarantine. From the yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> one with yourself. One, one with, with myself. Yourself. You found yeah. your. You found your center. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's good. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still and then learning. You your anger but... playing Fortnite. Any anger you had built up. Yes. Just like, like, Literally, when I come home from work and I'm just like, Ugh, I go on Fortnite, I'm just like, I need to shoot some people. And <laughs> <laughs> it really lets it out. Yeah, I find that if I come, if I play video games and, uh, and I'm angry before the game, it, the game's only going to make me angry because I suck at video games. So yeah. I'm actually gotten good at Fortnite. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I stopped playing a long, a long time ago. Uh, yeah, it's I, the only video I like ha- only have the switch so yeah, that I'm not I don't have Call of Duty or any of those other things so it's the only shooting game that yeah. I play now I used to play Red Dead Revolver with my dad on the PS years ago I've heard of Red Dead, you don't know? Red Dead Redemption it's the same it's that's the same. what it is oh. Red Dead <laughs> close enough I figured it was yes. just like a sequel or like a prequel <laughs> Revolver was just one of the guns duh <laughs> <laughs> I broke my chair yesterday playing Call of Duty because I got angry. I, uh, I, I had so these armrests, they like, I don't know, they lift up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, you know, I made a stupid decision by standing in front of a window. And so I got down and then we lost because of my stupid decision. So I was just, I wasn't angry at the game. I was angry at my decision. And I just, three times, as hard as I could, pretty much, on this chair. And it wasn't even, like, so, it wasn't even up. The armrest wasn't even up. So it's not like I hit it so hard that I just knocked it down, but it was already down, and so somehow I still broke the peg that's inside, so the, this, the left arm doesn't stay up anymore. Oh, damn. It. it just stays down and out. I mean, it's a... I need a new chair anyways. It hurts my butt. Yeah. It does. If I sit in it for too long, which usually Or you can happens, sit on the floor. 
Yeah, I can. There's I so much really more space my, my, down here. My game, my monitor, you know. It's true. Yeah, your monitor is up wall. on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd have to just like be like this. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> um, video games. Oh shoot! Angry. I need to go get my computer charger. Can I get a minute? Yeah. Or thirty you, seconds. Yeah. Feel free. <clears throat> yeah, dude. I freaking. I like when I got down in that window. I was the I was rage like, that builds dude, up I was inside like, you. I was like, "Will come get me." He got me up. He said, "I knocked one," and I came out. And my gun only had twenty five bullets in it because it was like floor loot. Yeah, so it wasn't a fully extended mag or whatever. And I missed. I, I put half the shots in a wall before I hit him, and I just was like, "Motherfucker!" <laughs> was, uh, um. You good, Kylie? You plugged I'm in. I'm good. Yeah, um, I'm plugged. So tell us about your coffee addiction. This is actually, this episode, <clears throat> this is an intervention for you because I noticed that you <gasps> drink a lot of coffee. I think you have a caffeine addiction. <laughs> is that why you I do. smiley all the time? You just <laughs> it's the caffeine just coursing through like, her blood. Oh my God. Fuck. I started drinking coffee my freshman year of college finals week first semester um i never liked coffee beforehand like never really had a fancy for it but i was dead beat tired studying in the library and um my study group and i wanted to go get some coffee that was free in uh, for the students so i was like oh, i need to stay awake so let me try it and for some reason that day i liked it and I started the coffee obsession very sweet. I think everyone does almost. Oh, yeah. um, extra, extra, extra caramel, like ribbon crunch frappuccinos with caramel inside and out. Like that was my order almost every day in freshman year of college. And then slowly the sweetness just went down. And now I drink coffee every day. Now I will say your coffee still looks uh, far from black. So <laughs> still probably pretty sweet. <laughs> I do like a creamy coffee. So typically at Starbucks, I get a grande uh, vanilla cream cold brew with the sugar-free vanilla syrup to lower the sweetness. Um, but I get it in a venti cup for extra foam, which is basically like a cream. And I love that. It really makes it It's like a vanilla creamsicle. Do you think you're when you go up to the drive through or the counter, do you ever like, I got to go say my order again? Because it's like so much, I feel like. like can I'm I mobile order. Oh. So I coffee? Oh. <laughs> mobile order. I'm mobile order. <laughs> but they do know me now. So every time I walk into the Starbucks before I had to work, like they're, they already, they're like, oh, here you go, Kylie. <laughs> that, that's my goal in life to, uh, to have, to have somebody place, know your order. Have yeah. one place know, like, if I walk in the store, they're like, yeah, I'll be ready in five minutes. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's what I want. Thank you. They want. write sweet messages sometimes, too, on my cup or on my my food bag. Sweet nothings on your, on your cup. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't go to places um, enough to, like, have people, like... I think Starbucks coffee tastes like dirt, personally, so I just don't want them to write sweet messages on anything. <laughs> their chai tea is good. I like their chai tea. I get their very, very hibiscus. Ooh, That's those good. are good too. I get it with yeah. no ice and extra lemonade, and it's. I do have an espresso machine now at home, so I sometimes I have a second cup of coffee, but I make it at home. Yeah, I don't really have any room to judge how much you drink coffee because you only really do it like it's just like a cup of coffee on a daily basis, which is totally normal because that's what a lot of people do. I planned on. Here we go, <laughs> and we're back. Sorry about some technical difficulties there. Um, you may see a big cut here on the podcast. That's all right. Anyways, like we were saying. Coffee. Now, I started drinking. I started drinking coffee in high school. Yeah. Um, but when I got to college, I was drinking uh, several cups of coffee a day. Oh my god! Like there was one. There was one point for a couple months I was drinking up to ten cups a day. Just like. Did you hallucinate? No. <laughs> I was because coffee doesn't really have that effect on me. Like it doesn't make me like I could have a cup of coffee right before bed and just go right to sleep. No problem. Okay. So like it never really had that effect on me. So I would just drink it because I liked the taste of coffee. 
Um, but the reason I was drinking 10 cups was probably because I was addicted to the caffeine. It was just like, it was there. So I just kept drinking it. Um, but I would wake up, I'd have like two cups with breakfast and then I'd go to class. I'd bring a third cup with me to class. After class, I'd go to lunch with my friend, have another two cups. So we're already, we're at five for the day and it's lunchtime. And then we'd go to, uh, dinner or before dinner, we'd probably grab a snack at some point. I'd grab another cup of coffee. Then we go to dinner. I have another cup of coffee there. Another couple cups of coffee, depending on how long dinner was. Um, and then we go to like late night dining to grab a food, to grab some food right before we went to bed at like, I don't know, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And I would have a cup of coffee right before we left the dining hall. That's disgusting. You make me feel like a noob. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, I don't know. It was fine. I, I didn't think, it, I didn't see any problem with it. And my friends were all like, Joe, you're drinking a fuck ton of coffee. I was like, I don't know. Do you ever put yeah. Bailey's in your coffee? Oh. I've not. I put Bailey's in my hot chocolate. I just, I just purchased from Costco like a big thing of Bailey's. Yeah, Bailey's is good. I like it. Oh, so good. It's a good addition to something like coffee or hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. I've never put it in hot chocolate. I should. I'll have to try it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is but it Dave, you my... said you were saying, you know, while I was fixing my audio issues, that you don't. You don't drink coffee, correct? No, I get the French French vanilla cappuccino, which, you know, it's like... It it's has very, caffeine in it. Yeah, it, it's a very <laughs> sweet... It's got a little caffeine. I mean, like... But I only got that... When I was in, like, high school, and I was on, like, crew, like, for musicals, we, me and Will, me and my friend Will, we would go and be like, oh, coffee? Or French vanilla cappuccino? Because he gets the same thing that I get. So that's the only time I would get it. And then after that, it's like, I don't have the need. One, I don't feel like spending money to get coffee. Yeah. Because I don't care to, like, it's not like, oh, I need this coffee to wake me up. It's like, if I get it, it's like, hey, I want something. I want this. It tastes, I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Today. It tastes good. There's never, a, there was one time, maybe two times in high school when I was like dead tired. And I texted my friend to get me a large French vanilla cappuccino with an espresso shot because I don't know. I, I think I just, I don't know. I just didn't bother sleeping that night or something like that. So I was like, maybe, maybe a coffee will work because it usually doesn't. I think it's just, I think. Maybe so it's something it's, in your blood. You choose blood yeah. here. You just <laughs> caffeine. It's just that sharky, that sharky blood. The caffeine just doesn't affect it. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't know if it's because I like, don't like if I got black coffee, like where it was just like, you know, this cat, like I'm not adding any sugar or something like that. Maybe it would do something for me, but my, I don't know how much a French vanilla cappuccino has for caffeine. I don't know. I do find that, like, <clears throat> again, it doesn't like it's not like I can't function without having coffee, but like when I bring my coffee to work in the morning, um, I'll usually like drink it while I'm opening my truck or drink it, you know, right before I go out and actually do start doing work. And, uh, um, I'll find that like, if I'm giving a safari right after I've had my cup of coffee, I like start talking a lot faster. I'm like, oh, okay. That's probably the caffeine. Yeah. But like, I generally just talk fast in general. Generally just talk fast in general. I just generally, generally talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> I also view the coffee. I know that I prolong mine throughout the whole shift and it, makes me feel better like once i'm done giving a safari like you have the two minutes before you start the next one mm -hmm. it's just kind of like a yeah it's a refresher it's a reward yeah, yeah. a refresher too yeah <laughs> same thing as uh goes for me for like red bull or anything if i have one of those like the one time i had like i think i had like a regular 12 ounce can maybe two of those i and i had a 24 ounce and a 16 ounce and like one day yeah and it didn't like i took a picture of them i go oh, yeah this is how you stay up for like 30 hours and i don't think i mean i was dead tired i i don't think they did anything for me if i would have just laid down i still would have just passed out yeah it, it, it wasn't really i was walking around like a zombie even having those for I have 48 plus 16 is 50, 64, I think. 64 draft, ounces of Red Bull in a day. <laughs> <laughs> Math. Math. I never had Red Bull or an energy drink before. I have had four loco once, never again. That, 
thing. I had, I've had, there was this one. I was, I, I was like chugging it and I was like, I'm never doing that again. It, it was like, four loco. yeah, four loco. Those will it kill was, you. <laughs> it, it just, like it, if I, if I sipped it, it was like, all right. But like that much at once, it was like tasting like medicine. I was like, this thing is nasty. Why do people, people drink these? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was gross. People regularly can regularly consume those. There was just the red, the one red one is like it's probably the only one I could drink. There's two there's two red ones. One's called just like Four Loco Red, and one's called Four Loco, and then it's like strawberry or like Hawaiian Punch or I don't know what it was. That's the one I like. The red tastes like complete medicine. Blue Raz was like nasty. I started drinking that the one time. So, for people who drink Our those, pass. no, thank you. Prayers, you're in my prayers. Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> need help too. Yeah, that too. I don't know. Um, Better taste buds. So much sugar in them too. I think that's oh what God, killed me. Insane. Yeah. But, um, I don't, Dave, do you have any more any more actual questions? Um. No. Oh, <laughs> I I don't think I do either. Um. So. We will jump to Kylie. If you have any weird weekly stories, anything that's ever happened to you that you feel is funny enough to tell to the internet, now's your chance. Also, Dave, if you have anything, I don't have a weird weekly story this week. I got nothing funny that happened to me in the previous week because I've been working crazy hours, like I'm sure you have as well, Kylie. Uh, mine's probably just me breaking my chair. <laughs> yeah. Actually, as a matter of fact, I do have something that it both bothers me and I find it weird. Um, okay. <laughs> So yesterday I was at work and I was, uh, I was back in like the extended queue. Um, and which Dave, that's just like part of our regular queue. That's just longer. <laughs> we use it if we have an extended, an ex- extended part. <laughs> so I was standing back there. Cause I was like watching all the people back there yesterday morning. Yeah. <clears throat> and this woman starts coming through a line and she's like, not really following the line. She's kind of just like walking past all the people. And I go, she's probably catching off to somebody, whatever. And then she eventually, make, eventually makes her way up to me. And I'm standing there and she goes, excuse me, I have a question for you. And I go, yeah, what's up? And she's like, I can't find my boyfriend. I go, okay. <laughs> Where oh, did no. you last see him? And now this is like a, what, I shouldn't have a, like. I would have said, are you sure you have one? <laughs> <laughs> my reaction to that was like ma'am you look old enough like you should have a husband like he shouldn't be your boyfriend so like hearing the word boyfriend out of her mouth was just like weird to me uh-huh. um so like my immediately i, I immediately assumed it's totally not okay for me to assume but like i assumed that this woman had recently gotten a divorce and now she has a boyfriend <laughs> no longer this terrible husband. i know it's just like the way that she looked it seems like she just it's, she, she just like she has a family already and so I was very caught off guard. She said, I can't find my boyfriend. Again, that's probably just my own brain being stupid. I feel bad for this woman for not being able to find her boyfriend. <laughs> but anyways, So I go, okay, uh, where did you last see him? And she goes, well, I stepped out of line to run to the bathroom, not realizing how quickly the line was moving. Um, so it was like just outside of the actual entrance to the queue. And I go, okay. Um, so he's most likely ahead of you somewhere in line. She goes, well, I don't, I don't know. Like he probably noticed how fast it was moving. Maybe he stepped out of line. I go, okay, well, let's go with the assumption that he figured you were going to come back because you said you were, you just stepped out to go to the bathroom. Um, and he probably continued through the line. So I'm like, just keep walking through the line and see if you see him and then go all the way down. Once you make it all the way down to the dock, if you don't see him standing there waiting, we'll go from there. So she walked all the way down, then, then fished her way back through the queue upstream came back to me. She goes, I don't know where he is. I'm like, all right. Can you contact him in any way? And she goes, no, I have his cell phone. (laughs) Why? That is the third. No, that was the second time this week that somebody was like, I don't know where this person is and I can't contact them because I have their cell phone. Why do we have cell phones? So we can always be in contact with somebody around us. Why do you have somebody else's cell phone? I can tell you right now, every pair of men's shorts has pockets. Every pair of men's pa- men's pants also has pockets. Much Put better your phone ones. In your fucking pocket. Yeah, much deeper pockets, much better pockets. Put your phone in your pocket. Why would you let your girlfriend carry your phone? 
because you're not going to, because you're going to get separated at some point and you're not going to be able to contact her or she's not going to be able to contact you. Like she needs to, because she lost it because she went to the bathroom because women have to pee all the time. Sorry, Kylie. <laughs> you have the smallest bladders ever. So first of all, you can definitely Probably she, ended ended up uterus. Him, by the way. she ended up finding him, by the way. Oh, okay. He had okay. waited outside the entrance to the queue. Like a so she walked person. right by him. She walked clean past him <laughs> and he didn't see her. Well, you, you know he wasn't on his phone distracted, so... That's true, yeah. So he should have just been looking for her. Hmm. Walked right past. Made it all the way through the queue, all the way back to me. Says, I can't find him. Kept on walking, because I go, I go. all right, well, like... I think she we, she was just, like, kind of in passing. She goes, I have a cell phone. I can't contact him. I'm going to keep going this way. I go, oh, okay. Like, I can't help you anymore if you're going to keep on walking. So... She I went all the to those types of people. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you already know? <laughs> So she just kept on, she just kept on walking and eventually found him back out of the entrance and they then got back in line and walked the rest of the way. And then they passed me again. And she goes, I found him. His name was also Joe, which is why this story <laughs> stuck in my head. And he have asked, asked her what he was he, he just like, he was just like, Hey, and I was like, go fuck oh. yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> your Keep your back. cell phone in your pocket. Your cell phone. I think it's so funny when guests try to ask us those types of questions. Like, where's my boyfriend? It's like, like, I know who it is. Yeah, like, oh, I actually I saw a random guy wandering through here by himself. He looked like he had a girlfriend. So I just, <laughs> you must be her. Like, <laughs> you must be her. I remember during my CP, when I worked uh, food and quick service, like food and beverage, this one, I almost got in trouble because this lady got a non-gluten-free pizza, but she was allergic to gluten like badly but she never told me she just came back and she was like is this pizza with gluten and i said it's a pizza so yes yeah. and she was just like i have gluten intolerance i was like i didn't know and she's like i need to speak to your manager you almost try to kill me and she like the whole thing happened and my manager had to come out and talk to her i was just like we can definitely get you like a gluten-free pizza yeah oh my lord yeah she was- she's like well, how was I supposed to know that you were gluten free? Exactly. I was getting pizza the one time, and this woman goes, "Now one of those pizzas is is gluten free, right?" Yes. Did the, the dude the whatever worker said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um, we're putting it in the oven right now. Is that a fresh pan? And I'm like, "There's no what? excess. There's no residual gluten on the he pan, like, is there?" <laughs> he was like, "No. It's, we just." We put it, well, we put it, they put it in like, they don't put it on a pan in the, in the oven. They just put it in the grate, whatever. So, and then when they take it out, they put it on a pan, I guess, like the, whatever that thing is. And they cut it. She was like, well, could you, could you get a fresh one? I was like, there's not gluten remnants on a pan. (laughs) And she was like, I I mean, my, my kid, he's just, he just can't have gluten. So I just want to make sure that. I was like, "Can I get my pizza, dude?" I got these go. freaking gluten people. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't they think... drive me up a wall. <laughs> Kylie, how's your gluten tolerance? <laughs> <laughs> I could. I am a carb lover, day and night. Yeah, I... I think I, my body runs off carbs. I can never cut it out. Our our sister has a has a gluten intolerance. No, not anymore. Oh, not anymore. Evidently, yeah. Oh no, no. no. Where it's... you been, Joe? Yeah, no, I think <laughs> down I got... here. Yeah, no, it's definitely because I said. Aren't can't you like not have gluten she's like no i'm good now i'm like what how are you good now okay well then ignoring our sister listen I, people that have gluten issues go fuck yourself just eat some fucking <laughs> bread you know it's, it's gluten intolerance are you kidding me I remember, uh, I think my junior year of college, yeah, junior year of college, my roommate, she had a celiac disease. So she yeah. literally couldn't have gluten, but she was great about it. She knew what to do. And even though she made, she would always make like gluten free brownies or cookies and they were delightful. Mm-hmm. They were really good. Yeah. If you get just like gassy or bloated from eating gluten and that's gla- gluten and that's your only problem, I, I hate you. Just like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that out Joe? there now. Sure, maybe uncomfortable, but get Are you lactose intolerant? No, I just don't like dairy. <laughs> uh. I mean, I would if I was if I was gluten free, and it made me it made me like bloated and gassy. I literally would not want to be just uh, like if I'm uncomfortable. First of all, I'm getting anxious. I'm getting sweaty because now I'm uncomfortable and I'm anxious. 
and then I'm just uncomfortable for the rest of the day, and then I'm going to get angry, and then I'm going to punch somebody. So or break think, a chair. I think it's better. Yeah, or break a chair. I think it's better. If I listen, I just put food. like I put gluten free people by choice up there with vegans. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking stand either of them because all they ever do is talk about it. Mm-hmm. I go, I don't care that you're gluten free. I don't care that you're vegan. Keep it to yourself. Eat what the fuck you want to eat. I don't give a shit. That's why I like mm-hmm. vegetarians, because you guys don't talk about it. We just go, hey, I found this great burger joint. And you go, oh, I'm a vegetarian. And I go, oh, sorry, whatever. I'll tell somebody else about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, sorry, whatever. But you're not going to be like, hey, Joe, guess what? I'm a vegetarian. Don't tell me about that burger joint that I saw on your Instagram story yesterday. I go, I wasn't going to fucking tell you about it anyways. <laughs> don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think ever Drives me up a wall. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely important. I in college I started out like being vegetarian now. I started out being like very plant-based. I wouldn't say vegan because that's yeah. technically like, you know, no animal products even, like, yeah. you know, gelatin from gummy bears or stuff like that, which, which is I, insane. Yeah. And so obviously as a college kid, I could not attain that kind of lifestyle, What's so your I question, just Question, Dave. I'm confused about the gelatin and gummy bears. Oh. <laughs> yeah, gelatin is made from animal bone marrow, mm. and it's in gummy candies. Dave, have you oh. never heard that they use, like, horse hooves to make jello? No, I thought you were saying that vegans won't eat gummy bears because it has the word True. bear in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I thought you were going for, and I was like... <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my God. Because it's shaped like a bear. You won't even eat the animal. I was like, there's no shot. This is real. Yeah. No, no, no. The gelatin in it. Yeah. Oh, no. my okay. God. That makes sense. That's funny. I was like, there's really, they're not, like, so what, they can't eat animal crackers, too, or something? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Oh, my Lord. I almost had a, almost had a heart attack. <laughs> But yeah, I can't imagine going like the full, like full vegan. It's just like, how do you, what do you eat? Like, I love sushi too much to like not eat fish. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think. Shannon is, Shannon loves sushi. So. Oh, sushi's so good. I definitely would say that becoming a vegetarian has expanded my food palette more so. Like I used to hate mushrooms, but now I love them. Uh, same with like Brussels sprouts or like chickpeas. I never used to cook with chickpeas before, but now I do. And it's like I have feel like when I ate meat, I would always just stay with that meat. Like I was the girl that would always order a meat lover's pizza. But now I will experiment with different flavors with like sun-dried tomatoes and arugula and like red peppers. And Have you ever I've gotten um, a burger that's like – like it's a plant-based burger, but the the buns are lettuce. No, I'm I like I love carbs too much to I, do that. I've seen people like get the, they get the they just get the lettuce and like like a no lettuce carbs. wrap too. I want no carbs. I want no meat. I just want I just want lettuce tomato stacked in it. between two lettuce. <laughs> yeah, was, not was, substantial was, enough for me. <laughs> nah, not like that. <laughs> just it's a, it's an interesting. Uh, look to a burger I, yeah yeah oh i love a burger with a good brioche bun oh brioche bun is phenomenal yes brioche is the only bun mm-hmm. anybody should ever get ever i get mm-hmm. hyped up when they're like uh, a nice burger cooked how you want it with a brioche bun I'm like, just the word brioche so it's so fancy you're just like god i mean i'm dining well tonight <laughs> definitely yeah yeah I don't want a sesame seed bun from Burger King. I want a brioche <laughs> bun. <laughs> Apparently, Burger King's plant-based patty is really good. I, I disagree, but... but... Well, our dad <laughs> said it was... He was like, tastes like a Whopper to me. Man, mm. I thought... I Maybe I got a bad one, but I thought it tasted like a garbage. I couldn't even finish it. It was so bad. Like I And granted, I don't like a Whopper in general, because, like... I don't like Burger King in general, but... Um, why? But the, all the stuff that they put on a Whopper, I don't really like. Because they put like a whole bunch of shit on there. All the, the sauce that they put on, I don't like that. And hmm. um, So maybe that's why, but the I, it, I didn't like it. I threw it out. Hmm. 
sad. Throughout, oh, you see the 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 the. There are the kids in Africa. Whopper. Well, but they don't want it either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you threw out just a whopper. I was like, you threw out a whopper. No, 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 I threw out the impossible whopper. Impossible whop. Impossible whop. The imposter whopper. Imposter whopper. That's what they should have called. <laughs> Among Us has a new map. That's true. Among Us. Uh, Among Us is actually the sponsor of this episode, guys. Uh, that's what I've been trying to tell you the entire time. <laughs> Among Us is the sponsor. Um, I have not played that game. Also, oh my God, it's forever. April Fool's, and I wanted to ask you guys what <gasps> your like best April Fool's prank has ever been, if you've pulled one. Oh yes. Um, as a person who, okay, they're not like great, but, uh, I've done maybe two good ones. One, I put a fake ticket on our sister's car the one time. So, and I have like a 50 fake tickets in my car right now too, um, that I've got last year. I got April 3rd last year. They didn't come in in time, and I was like, fuck. Um, I'm still probably not going to do anything with it now because I'm just going to be here until I go to work, and then I'm not going to put it on a parked car in a parking lot. Like, I could. <laughs> um, Doesn't have the same effect. Yeah, so I did that to her the one time. We went to the store, and she came out, and she was like, are you kidding me? I couldn't hold my laughter, and honestly, she, she was reading in the car, and I was, like, cracking up next to her, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. But, so I got her with that, and then... The one time I took, um, this wasn't really like an April Fool's thing, but like I did it around April Fool's. Um, I took a firecracker that um, exploded, I get or popped once you pulled both strings. So I put it, I tied it on the in, the inside of a cupboard door. So when she opened it, it scared the shit out of her. So. Those nice. are probably my two best ones, I guess. I don't think I've never... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I don't have the video anymore. But I had... I, I set up two cameras one time for the in the living room. And I had a universal remote. So I went outside. <laughs> and there's a big window right, right in the living room. And I would... I kept turning off the TV. And then... Uh, our dad and mom were like, "What? What is going on? So then I came in and was sitting amongst the uh, the victims, and <laughs> the victims. <laughs> I was just sitting there watching the movie. You play real had, life among us. I had the remote uh, just like under my leg, and then I just clicked it off, and it was the funniest thing ever. I, that was my <laughs> that's my best one right there. The funniest thing ever. I, I had no idea what was going on, and I just. I, it's, I'm, I can I can never hold my laughter in. It's, yeah. Oh, for that I wouldn't be able to hold my laughter in either. I would be that's, dying. Uh, that's why it was yeah. a good thing that I was outside because as soon as I came in, um, I I turned it off maybe like once or twice and then I was just I was like, haha, there's a camera there, camera there. <laughs> I put up two cameras, <laughs> one like under the TV facing them and one like in like trying to get the whole living room. I, I had this all set up. They're like, what are you doing? Wow. I'm like, just there. I don't know why they didn't think anything suspicious. I, le- I think they legit saw me put up two cameras. Or one, yeah, at least bro. the one. But Parents are clueless sometimes. They're like, what, <laughs> yeah. what is going on? I wish I could find that video. Was what about you, Kat? Have you ever pulled any April Fool's pranks? Um, I pulled one on my parents once that went real bad. I... Yeah. I remember I was sitting in my computer science class and I felt ballsy. So I texted my parents, hey, I just fell down the stairs in school. I broke my ankle and being sent to the hospital. (laughs) I didn't hear from them for like a couple of minutes. And it's because apparently they stopped everything they were doing. There was like a contractor in our house and they sent them home and they were literally in the car on the way to the hospital. And I had to call them. I was just like, you guys are really quiet. And they were just like, you're not in the hospital. I said, yeah, April Fool's. And I was shunned. My dad (laughs) gave me the silent treatment for literally two weeks. I, ever since there, I've never pulled bro- jokes on April Fool's. But I do remember one time, my friend's birthday, um, we posted her entire car. Oh, wow. And that's cool. Yeah. So I do things like that now. But April Fool's, ever since that day, I'm, I don't touch it. I was like, shit, that was really dumb of me. 
That's my hilarious. God. Because I also just came back from a recovery of a broken ankle too, so that I was susceptible to it. Mm. Oh, so that's why they definitely believe you. There's yeah, bad timing. Me. Yeah, bad timing, Kylie. I wouldn't say I've ever done anything too too crazy for April Fools. Um, I was always, I, I would always like want to do something, but just never ended up following through with it. Um, I think probably the most successful I've done is just like one. I think this is something that like every kid has always wanted to do or has done in their lifetime, which is you just put a rubber band around the the sprayer on a sink, and <laughs> <laughs> so that way when the sink turns on, it immediately starts spraying. <laughs> And I got in so much trouble with our mom. I, she, she was like, Joseph Sharkey. And I was like, she was like, the full name all, all right now. Yeah. Jo full name. And, uh, had to, I mean, like she, like you catch it pretty quickly. Like you start, like you see water not coming from where it's supposed to come from. So you turn the sink off pretty quickly. So like it sprayed like the fridge and I think it even missed her. So it's like sprayed the fridge. I had to dry off the fridge, but that's probably the most successful like i've done <laughs> i want to say uh that she did that to me like you know within the past two mom months. did that to you yeah for some reason i want to think that um, uh it's either a dream or she actually did it to me because i turned it on and i just got sprayed with the fucking thing but you know our, she got you good our hose thing doesn't work anymore so you know it doesn't oh, well then like we can't do it so we don't use it one time I went to use it and I was like, my dad goes, don't use it. I'm like, okay. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Doesn't tight. Um, well, uh, I mean, if we don't have anything else, we can, we can probably wrap it here. Dave, what's our time at? Well, well I don't know. I mean, I'm at 123. So we start. yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, we lost probably a few minutes there with the, with the. Technical difficulties. I mean, yep. I don't know about you, but we were talking about coffee still. So we were. Yeah, no, I, I knew I could hear you guys. <laughs> um, I'll, I might keep it in. We'll see. Um, <laughs> my face probably looks stupid while I was trying to fix my, uh, my shit here. <laughs> that one part where you spoke and your mouth didn't move, that was a that little was, freaky. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> um, but uh, what the hell? Oh, I thought it was somebody walking a dog. It's somebody just on a walker. It looked like a big <laughs> dog outside my window. The fact that you said, what the hell to someone walking a dog? Like, that's what was yeah, peculiar. It, just, it just looked like a big dog. And I go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> um, Kylie, where can... Uh, the, oh, wait, we're going to do trivia. I, um, I always... Oh, man. <laughs> we almost skipped it. <laughs> Don't say where the people can find you yet. Stay full of trivia. Uh, there's trivia. Random trivia generator. Kylie, go ahead Beautiful. and pick a number. One through twenty. Uh, one. Twenty-one. Perfect. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. The tip of the Washington Monument is made of what? Excuse me? I think I know this. Isn't it in Spider-Man? Uh... When he tries to, you know, um... The tip of the Washington Monument. It's obviously something with like lightning. Wait, what is? Well, well I'm gonna write my answer oh. down. So hold on. <laughs> right. The tip of the Washington Monument is made of what? I'm gonna say vibranium. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, I've got my answer locked in. So is it not just fucking stone? <laughs> Oh wait, the Washington Monument. That's the big pointy yeah, one, Dave. The pencil. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I'm like, it's his fucking nose, not just like that's what I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> the tip of Washington's nose is on, Mount on Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, Dave. Washington's okay. on Mount yes. Rushmore. Okay, so that's the big. Okay. Yep. Okay, let me rethink let me know this when... then. Yeah, go ahead. Think of, think over your answer. Let us know when you're locked in here. Um. I'm going to say, just because that's the only thing that can is coming to my head, but okay. All right. So, Kylie, what are you, what are you going with? Vibranium. Vibranium. <laughs> I, went, I put granite. Okay. I said sandstone. Sandstone. Oh, that actually is a good. That's a good granite. answer. Aluminum. Aluminum. I was it good. Is metal. <laughs> 
Why is it made aluminium? Of... Well, because I know that like the color of like the like the stone does change at some point throughout the because it took them so long to finish the Washington Monument that like they ended up using a different stone mm -hmm. at some point, and the very tip of it I think is made out of something different, or the the top of it, the pointy part is made of something different, but the very tip is very clearly not stone. So vibranium with the right hit with the closest answer, <laughs> the mythical uh, <laughs> substance. <laughs> Um, well, what's closest it? to aluminum between yours and mine answer, Dave? Kylie, what do you think is, is closest, granite or sandstone? I guess granite. So we, we should do a different we'll question, do a different one. one. Do a different one. Um, Good job, Kylie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what prime numbers are. I can't remember. One, three. Seven. Seven, nine, eleven. Um, Isn't five also one? Oh yes, we skipped five. One, three, five, seven. If you see something that might, people might know. <sighs> Shot it out. What? Which smartphone? Wait, Philip. What? Who's a Philip K. Dick character? I have no idea. I don't even know who that is. Okay, never mind. Uh, largest bird in North America. How about we go with that one? Easy. All right, largest bird in North America. I actually have no idea what the largest bird is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say... What color is Shrek? I want that question. <laughs> Where is that? What color is Shrek? <laughs> Wait, I think he's it? a chartreuse. <laughs> green. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something like not green. Uh, okay, I'm locked in for this answer. I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know. North America, that's a lot more countries than just um, the America. United States. <laughs> uh are there big birds in in canada i can't remember there's a there's a bird that has a wingspan of 108 inches and I, in america a pink-backed pelican is eight foot wide wingspan well that's what it, my joe did you put an answer down yeah but i'm not i said pelican i said bald eagle because they're big fucking birds Wait, wait. Kylie got any answer? Yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say an eagle too, to be honest. Yeah. That was I, I was gonna know. do, but I don't. I think a pelican has a larger wingspan. Condor. Well, California condor. An Fuck. Eagle, an eagle what does this bird look like? To a condor. Eagle is closer to a condor. Would you agree, Kylie? I don't even know what a condor is. Let me look. There are birds of. They're a bird of prey. Bird of are prey. they? Yeah. That sentence. I guess that so, always then. confused me because, like, bird of prey makes me think like they are prey. Oh, yeah. I would definitely say an eagle. They look like it, for sure. Yeah, if you took a pelican, you know, it's not looking like that at all. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Eagle. eagle. Let me see it. Let me see it. What was it? Do we have a picture? Oh, yeah. It's a big-ass bird. Big bird. How, how big are they? Their length is three to four foot. What's their wingspan? Wingspan measures up to 9.5 feet. That's a big bird. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy Holy when hell. you see that thing in the sky. It doesn't even look that big. And that doesn't. Wait. Uh, so, Dave, currently the standings are I have six points. You have zero points. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and there's three weeks left. So, you can still, if you get the next three weeks correct, you can still tie it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty tough for you, Dave. You with us, Dave? Um, yeah, so I was wait, looking at the I think Dave bird. actually won because, oh, so. <laughs> because a wingspan of an eagle is only between six and seven foot. And he said pelican, and technically the pink back pelican, like I said, is eight wait, foot wait, wait, wide. Wait, 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 wait. Is are pelicans even native to North America? Oh yeah. Check oh, that. good catch there. Good check catch. We'll, American we'll the... American the pelicans. pelicans. A North American <laughs> pelican. There was a bird that had a wingspan between 16 and 20 feet. It's called a freaking pterodactyl. Would you believe that? That was 50 million years ago. Dave, you can close out the, the trivia. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're looking up the technicalities of our answers. Joe said eagle, and it was condor, and they look similar. But mm -hmm. I said pelican, and my wingspan is closer. So if I'm just doing some some uh, research, okay. yeah, I'm doing some conversions. 
Yeah. Conversions. Yeah, it's <laughs> giving me. He wins. Dave wins? Yeah. There's Pelicans in North America? North American Pelican wingspan is about uh, up to 114 inches, which is technically nine and a half feet. That's the largest North American yeah, Pelican. Look at an eagle, look at a condor. They're like the so same bird. I... Yeah, but technically the answer is the largest bird, and he wins. So I'm going to say I think we split it. <laughs> no, but Dave, Dave, I'm gonna give you. We're gonna give you the points here. <laughs> if we're going based off largest largest bird, you are technically correct. Um, yeah, you have a point. So that's so. So then, a condor is fucking bigger than a fucking. Wait, how 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 big was the condor? The well, uh, nine span, nine nine and a half wingspan. Yeah, that's like the light. Like the pelican's length goes up to. Yeah, 140. So Dave, we're gonna give you two. Huh? Right. Um, so that puts me at four and you at two for the for the three weeks. Look at that. Not bad. Pelican wins. Pelican Still anybody's superior. game. Um, all right. So now, Kylie. Hi. <laughs> where can the people <laughs> find you? You can find me most of the time for 40 hours a week in the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I have Mostly Instagram, smiley underscore Kylie96. Um, I think my Twitter is the same thing, but the numbers changed to 15 because I was 15 when I made it. Nice. And YouTube, Kylie Knudsen. I made YouTube videos a while ago, but I'm thinking of starting doing it again. But we'll see. There you go. TikTok is kpossible96, but... I don't post much on there except one. I have one video and it's from the Hamilton sisters. Um, there was this trend a while ago where, you know, the Kesha fart and you go like, <laughs> like fart. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so right when they do the, it farts and that's the only video I have on TikTok. But Wow. Iconic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, These videos are wild. And what is your eat of the week? Um, I actually got this pack of frozen seaweed rolls from Costco that were really good. They were like a crunchy seaweed wrap with carrot, cabbage, and mushroom in it. What does seaweed taste like? Not good. Delicious. I'm going to ask somebody who likes seaweed. Like, could you compare it to something else? Salt. It's like a very thin, salty crisp. Yeah. I feel in in a crispy form, but when it's used for, like, sushi or um, stuff like that, I feel like it just, it's a binding, salting agent, you know? It's so salty. And it's so, so it's good. so, so, good. It's so seaweed. It's just like, imagine like licking the ocean floor, Dave. That's what seaweed tastes like. Oh my God. It is not Yum. pleasant. Yeah, I still probably never have it, whether. Yeah. Someone no, not good. Seaweed. And that's something I've actually tried. So I can say that I, it's not, that I don't like it. Um, Sad. Uh, Dave, where can people find you? Uh, I'll do Instagram today. Underscore David Chucky underscore. Um, my eat of the week. There's nothing. I had nothing. Nothing special. Uh, uh, you know, I had, you know what? I had Doritos. We'll say Doritos. A bag of Doritos, the regular snack size. And the reason I tasted so good was because I spent a dollar in the vending machine. But I got two bags. Oh! <laughs> so, the one got stuck, like sideways, and as it said, select another option because, like, these vending machines, they're like censored. So if it doesn't drop, it'll say pick another one. So I just, oh. as I went to hit it, it dropped. So I pressed it really quickly, and the other one dropped right behind it too. And I go, "Yeah, these are gonna taste pretty good." <laughs> the system. These are going to be some good Doritos. <laughs> 50 cent bag of Doritos, which is how it should be. 50 cents because they give you no Doritos. Chips. There's like chips. two chips in the bag. It's a bag of air. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honestly. So 
I'll wow. go with oh regular Doritos, by the way. The original. Solid. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, orig- the original. You see, yeah. I tell Shannon, like, whenever she's like at the like at a gas station or whatever, buying food, she's like, Do you want chips? I go, Yeah, just give me some regular Doritos or the original Doritos. And she goes, sure. Which ones? I go, the regular Doritos. She goes, okay. I don't know what the regular ones are. I go, the original, the red bed, the <laughs> nacho cheese Doritos. Those isn't are the first that, ones. Isn't that strange though? Like you don't say cool ranch Doritos. You say blue Doritos or red Doritos. You don't actually say it by the flavor. Most times, normal people. Yeah, I, I say cool I ranch. I say cool <laughs> ranch, but I say regular blue Doritos. Doritos. Regular for, for red, cheese. for regular for nacho, nacho cheese. Or I'll say purple for the, purple. Yeah, for the because I don't know what that this, flavor is. Those are good. Yeah. Those are like Those spicy, are superior. spicy, chili, Asian, hot, something. Sweet and chili, spicy. Asian, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Sweet and spicy. So um, I say purple for that. Yeah, purple yeah. for that one. And the other ones don't even matter. There's like a green bag and a darker red bag. Spicy nacho. Fuck those oh, ones. Oh, yeah, spicy nacho. Can I get the dark Can red we... bag? Can I get the dark <laughs> red, please? Dark red. Yeah. Um, as for myself, you can follow me on my photography Instagram at sharky underscore photography. You can follow me on my regular Instagram at Secret Agent Sharky and my YouTube channel at Joe Sharky. Just like Kylie, I haven't posted on there in a while, but hey, maybe some vlogs will come back eventually. Maybe. Um, and my eat of the week is going to be, I have, I've had s- several good things to eat this week, all made at home because I've decided to stop eating out as much as I used to. Um, thank yeah. you. I'm trying to save some money. Option. Yeah. Good option. Um, so I've had, ooh. Well, last week, I think I went with the pizza that I made. I don't remember what I, what I went with last week. Regardless, I'm going to avoid pizza because I always go with pizza because it's so good. Uh, but I had Tyson chicken nuggets this time. So remember, Dave, I talked about the chicken tenders that one time. Yeah. Um, and they weren't that good. Well, I went with Ch- Tyson chicken nuggets this time. Oh, those, they were oh, phenomenal. Yeah. I had them with good. some waffle fries. So good. So just absolutely fantastic. And uh, I... Are you an adult now and you don't get the dino shaped ones? I well, I was gonna buy dino nuggets, but they're fucking expensive. Really? Yeah, dino nuggets what? are expensive. So I was like, they're extinct. Yeah, regular ass nuggets. I went with, and I go, these are fine. These will do. There's a low supply of dinosaurs yeah. in the world. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I don't have any like dipping sauce for them, so I went with. I, while I was at the store, I also bought um, just like some like steak sauce, not like a one steak sauce, but like Heinz fifty seven sauce, which I think is more like burger sauce. Not the point. But I used that for my chicken nuggets instead because I didn't you want to have plain ketchup? chicken nuggets. I didn't have ketchup. Okay. But you just said you were at the store. I forgot to buy ketchup. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ketchup was not on my list in my head. You got to so catch just... up. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> on um, that note. <laughs> as for the podcast, you can uh, follow the podcast on Twitter at CSGpod. That is C-S-G-P-O-D. Tweet at us what you want us to talk about. Joe, hold on. Uh, I haven't eaten of the week. I oh. went to Pio Mine. You ever been there? Pio Mine? I've never heard it's of it. It's a pizza place yeah. where you can customize your pizza if you want or something like that. Like uh-huh. Blaze Pizza. Like Blaze. So I just did one of their pre, their, their yeah. whatever. Um, but it was a barbecue chicken pizza. So Ooh. it was like they put like barbecue sauce and they put mozzarella and then they put chicken. I think that's pretty much what it was. And, and yeah. I put onions on there as well. Yeah. Delicious. And that sounds good. Then he got he got the meat lovers, which was ham, um or sorry, bacon. Which is like the same thing, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, bacon, sausage, meatballs, pepperoni, and are ham? Was it ham? I ham and bacon are two different types of the pork. Okay, so then yeah, it might have been ham and bacon, but yeah, it was five meats on this thing. God damn. Um, sorry, Kylie, but uh, <laughs> hefty, hefty pizza. But uh, that was good. So I had a slice of his, and then I ate like pretty much most of mine. Nice. So that was my eat of the week. Good job. Uh, that was delicious. Um, but like I was saying, you can follow us on Twitter, <laughs> CSG Pod, CSG POD. Tweet us what you want us to talk about. Tweeted us your thoughts on uh, pigs. Um, <laughs> and um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, at The Shuffle Podcast. We have officially hit and passed 25 subscribers. So we are doing that giveaway. Kylie, if you want to be the 27th subscriber, we won't blame you. We'll still add you to the giveaway. What we're giving away is one of these shirts. With the old logo on it. 
Ooh. So it's a vintage and you can get whatever vintage. you want. We have our names on the back. If you want yours to say your name, if you want yours to say our name, if you want yours to say nothing, s- nothing or something. Else, j- sure. There you go. So <laughs> subscribe. Um, and you will be entered into the giveaway. We'll, we're going to be doing that soon, picking a name shortly um, and get that shirt printed out and sent to you even faster than that. Um, so yeah, that's the shuffle podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple podcasts, anywhere else you can find your podcasts. Um, and if you want to watch clips of the podcast, I share them to all of my social media. Um, but I also post them on TikTok. My TikTok is just at Joe Sharkey. So if you uh, find them on there and that's why you're here, thank you so much for coming from TikTok. And I want to give a shout out to our guest from last week. Sorry, Kylie, you're awesome. But like our guest from last week, our friend, Rob, my friend, Robin, uh, she got us to the highest viewed podcast ever. We are at 81 views for last week's episode. So thank you guys, everyone who, who watched that. Kylie, your goal is to be 81. Okay. So good luck. <laughs> you better be watching this, friends. <laughs> um, all right. Th- thank you, Kylie, so much for joining us. This has been awesome. <laughs> thank Hope you so much for having me. Soon. So, uh, all right, uh, guys, we'll talk at you next week with episode 73 and hopefully a brand new guest. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye.